Hi, I'm Dr. Vince Wong, and the purpose of this channel is to help you improve your brain health and hopefully gain a deeper understanding of how the human brain works. So this video is in response to a poll that I put out on my Instagram page at Dr. Vince Wong, and I asked you guys which of these brain topics uh, interests you most and the one that got the most votes um, is the part of the brain responsible for ego. So in this video I'm going to be discussing two really interesting uh, brain studies that were done on this topic. Um, so let's get right to the video. But before we get into that, let's start by defining what we mean by ego. So looking at the dictionary definition of ego, we, we get a sense of someone's self-importance or self-esteem. In the first study, researchers were able to locate the ego to two certain parts of the brain called the ACC or anterior cingulate cortex and FIC, the frontoinsular cortex. It's not important for you to remember the ACC or FIC, but for those of you who are interested in neuroanatomy, the ACC is around this area here, the anterior cingulate cortex, and the FIC, um, the insular cortex is located here, so the front, fronto, front part of that is just there. The ACC and FIC areas of the brain have strong connections around different areas of the brain responsible for things like sensory input from the outside world, autonomic control, uh, decision making and awareness. The ACC and FIC parts of the brain were discovered to have a type of brain cell called VENS or von Economo neurons. These were named after the guy who discovered them. Speaking of ego... Anyway, uh, an interesting finding from this study was that the specialised group of neurons decide which um, thought processes should be turned off or on at any one time. It's very much like um, an orchestral symphony uh, conducted by a world-class uh, conductor who is deciding which musician should play at any time. The second study was done at Imperial College London uh, by Mike Marcus Reichler in 2001. And what he did was he studied the effects of psilocybin, which is the psychoactive component of magic mushrooms and what effects that had on a brain compared to a control participant. An accidental finding from the study was that psilocybin would turn off certain areas of the brain associated with ego. And this was called an ego dissolution effect. So in the control participant, the areas that lit up associated with ego were called the default mode network. So this study also adds to the evidence that our brain has, a part of our brain is responsible for ego. It is currently believed that the DMN or default mode network only really starts to form in later childhood. So there's evidence to show that children do not have an ego until around the age of five. That's going to vary depending. So what are the practical takeaways we can gain from looking at these two studies? Well, the first one is we all have an ego. We all have a brain and there's plenty of evidence to suggest that there are parts of our brain associated with ego. Now, it's important to remember that ego isn't necessarily good or bad. Um, sometimes it helps us, sometimes it holds us, holds us back. Uh, I can think of circumstances where uh, my ego has given me a boost of confidence to try something new and it's been helpful in that respect. But there's been other times where my ego has held me back from seeing the truth and assessing things honestly with myself. Just being aware that we have an ego is so useful um, because it helps us to notice when um, our ego starts to activate more and start to make better decisions going forward. If you found this video helpful, interesting or if it made you think, do me a favour right now and smash that like button. Comment down below if you can think of a time where your ego has held you back or served you in, <laughs> in the past. Um, don't forget to subscribe to join the brain training community um, so you don't miss out on any future videos, hit the notification bell. If you want to take part in future polls, head to my Instagram account which I'll link in the description below. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.